and uh, welcome to part three of this bear guy build. Uh, this is the painting episode. Um, I've taken all the the bear guy apart into its component parts uh, as far as I need to get them down for priming. Um, I'm not going to paint them all quite like this, but uh, just to start the introduction of the video. Um, right, this is painting. I've masked off the the poly caps because obviously you can't paint those, the, the primer and the paint affects those in some strange ways. Uh, I have uh, tidied up the join seam lines on those. Uh, basically that's it. I'm going to prime everything in grey. Uh, then once that's dried I can go back in and uh, do the top coats in the colours that I'm going to be going with. But uh, right. Just to let you know what's going on, I'm going to get the painting done um, off camera because there's quite a lot to do. Uh, see you in a moment. Right, that's all the priming done. Some of it has come out a bit splattery. Uh, don't know if it will come out on film at all, but it's the longest priming session I've ever done, so I'm sure the the airbrush was starting to suffer towards the end. Um, I'm going to leave all this to dry properly overnight and then uh, see what it looks like tomorrow. I might probably need to give it another going over tomorrow. But uh, it's getting there. It's quite a big job priming and all this at once. So see you soon. Right, I've decided on a, a colour scheme for this. Um, I'm going to put them in a tux. So, uh, uh, basically white and black uh, so I need a white sort of shirt underneath here so I just need to do a basically a v-shaped white uh, where the hands fit onto here I'm gonna have a, a thin white band which is going to be like the cuff the hat and the cane have all got each got a white stripe around them quite nicely marked out on the plastic uh, so black over white is easy to do and being that this is already a light grey it isn't going to be too challenging but you can't really paint white over black without hundreds and hundreds of layers so I just need to get some white down and then put the darker colours on uh, the hat and the cane I'm going to be doing in purple uh, now this is the first time I've thinned down Tamiya paint in the pot so I'll have to see how that works and we'll go from there but uh, as I say first of all I want to get the white down I'm going to use my normal Vallejo model here. Uh, doesn't have to be neat so I'm not going to mask any of this off. I'm just going to spray, over spray basically where I need it to be and then when that's dry I can mask off where I need to keep and put the black on over the top. Uh, so I'll uh, show you what that's like in a moment. And that's the white done. Uh, again not sure how well it's appearing in ca on camera. Get the shading right you might be able to see some of it. Uh, the little patch there and the V-shape, upside down V-shape if I'm holding it upside down, on there. There you go, just about to get the white balance right. Uh, and catch that before it falls over. Uh, just a strip around the No, you're not going to be able to make that out. Right, well trust me, it's there. And the two just the t tips of those. There you go, you can sort of see that one. Um, <clears throat> right, so I'll let that dry, then mask that off, and then go in with the darker colours. <coughs> I still need to do the grey, uh, obviously not on any of these pieces, but the uh, head, the hands, and the ears need to be done in grey. Uh, so while I'm waiting for those to dry, I will probably move on to those. The feet here, um, I'm going to do in black, but I'm going to do those in a, a gloss black, as I'm going to do the, the lapels in a, a gloss as well, just to give a bit of shine to those, to highlight those. Um, but again, that's black, so I'll be doing the black when I do the other bits. So first up is going to be the grey. Well, second up because I've already done the white get the white out of the way uh, then do the grey 
by then that'll be dry and I can move on and come back and do the extra bits on those. So I'll sort out the, the grey bits for him and then uh, be on with that. That's the, the main sprue of most of it. Uh, so that's the, the head which is going to be the main grey bit. I'll pick off the bits that I don't need and then do the rest of it. So I'll show you that in a moment. And that's the grey done. Uh, right, I've done the facing side of these lightly in the grey. Uh, although it'll have the hand over the top, then it's what I imagine it would be underneath. So if I do ever want to take the hands off, then that'll leave me with the grey underneath. Also done the neck, which I figured would be grey anyway. Uh, the face plate, the ears and the head, as well as the hands, which then will have the white inset pieces into them. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. It's come out nicely. It's not the smoothest paint job, but I think that's because of the, the primer spattering a little bit, but that's okay. I'm happy with that. Uh, right, so that's that for now. Um, so I need to let the the white on the other bits dry properly before I mask, mask those over and do the colours and the uh, mainly black which I need to do on the arms and legs and everything as well. Um, I'll be doing all these before I put them back together again so I need to put them back into the, the foam. Uh, but yeah that's it so far, I'll keep you updated. Uh, so I can't really film the painting, and there's not too much to see on that anyway. So uh, I hope you're okay with these mini updates, <laughs> only a couple of minutes each time, but uh, yeah, I'll let that dry, then I'll get on with the, the black bits. All right, I thought I'd try a little bit of painting on camera. Let's we'll see how it goes. Um, this is the purple, as you can see. Uh, pretty thin, so should be just about right. Let's see. It's quite nice. I like that colour. Obviously, I'd seen I'd masked off the uh, the white that I'd already done. So this can go everywhere at I not masked and it will cover it quite nicely. There's a first coat and I'll come back and see what I've missed when I when that's dried a little bit. I'll do the hat the same. There you go, hat and cane. All sprayed. A bit of touching up. It's strange having that inside curve on there makes it difficult to see bits, especially when they're reflected and drying at different times. So I've probably given it far more paint than it really needs. But at least it's not going to have any patches of white in it and um, the hat as well looking good uh, I'd let that dry properly and get the masking off might need some brushwork to touch up the edges a little bit but I'm pretty sure that will be fine and I'm happy with the colour of those as well uh, right that's that see you in a bit Right, painting is underway. I've uh, assembled the bear guy head uh, as a suggestion from Fox, a uh, uh, model making guru. He used null oil in the eyes, a few layers of that. Uh, I had some gloss null oil, so it gives a nice shiny finish to them. I'm quite happy with that. Uh, all that's gone back together, not a problem. Um, I put the ears back together and put them in as well. Uh, I've finished with the hat and cane again I did some light weathering with null oil on those just to sort of take the shine off and uh, blend in the the edges a little bit just to make it look a little bit more 
used rather than all factory shiny uh, so I'm happy with those as well uh, next what else have I done uh, the suit I've masked off where I want the white to stay uh, so where the, the shirt would be and obviously the pocket handkerchief um, so I need to uh, get that done in black as with pretty much all of the rest of it so I'm just sorting out exactly what I need to paint and not paint on those uh, so I'll uh, get some black down oh, I need to mask the white from the tops of the, the wrists where the cuffs will be uh, so that's the next step a um, little bit of masking on that I'll do that in a moment then um, show you what's what I'm just uh, getting these bits off of the clips so I can reuse those for the other bits I don't need those on the clips anymore now they're done uh, right so masking with the masking all I'm doing let me angle the camera a little bit so you can see where I'm working just down here if the camera stays there thank you uh, right I'm basically getting some tape out sticking it down to my mat uh, for this I only need one sharp edge so I can cut without a ruler or anything um, basically I'm going to cut it in half or thereabouts then making sure I use the properly sharp sharp edge instead of the one that I just cut I need to cover over some of that white the trick is getting it to be the same amount all the way around it's not quite tubular it gets thinner at this end so you can't just let it go and obviously the tape I cut is not quite long enough so I need to add a little bit more to that but while I'm here I'm going to do the other one so again just covering over same amount again I'm not measuring so it doesn't have to be you know 100% equal and accurate it does help if you don't drop it though get that down it looks like it's joining up or, you know covering over the same amount each side and about the same from each to each uh, so I need a bit more tape which I'll cut again in half that way and in half that way as well uh, yeah no, I only need two bits so I don't need to do that what we're thinking about knocking everything down right so again I've got the properly cut side cover over that white bit without covering over anything else there we go that's that uh, so I get that over there I don't want to be painting the top of that so I will need a little bit more to cover that as well there we go and there nice go that over right one more bit for the ends there we go that covers over everything I don't want to paint Get the ends covered over without going over the line that I've just carefully made when you're masking the only important bit of the masking is the edge so as long as it doesn't cover the edge anything else is fair game you need to cover what you want not painted 
everything away from the edge there can be as scruffy as you like as long as it's not letting paint through to where you don't want it to be uh, right so I'm going to be painting that way anyway so I probably could have got away without that anyway but there you go uh, right there is some articulation in there which I need to make sure I cover both sides of but that's not too much of a problem uh, right so I'll leave those how to do it I can put them back in there that's fine because I'll be doing that and then I can rotate them it's easy I do need to spread out these pieces a bit so I can get them done but I'll get that done when I finish juggling it uh, right I'll get them done and get that painted black and then see how we are see you in a moment right that's all the black painted <coughs> um, I've put the hands back on uh, let's see where can I get this so you can see it and the light can see it as well uh, I'm happy with the way the the hand looks see the hands bare color and he's got the the white of the cuff and the black of the suit so I'm happy with the way they've come out both of those uh, the body itself again I like it's um, needs the, the collar work doing on it but I'm going to do that with a combination of gloss and matte varnish I think um, the intention is just to get the, the edges of the the collar to be shiny uh, so I'm going to be matte uh, gloss varnishing everything uh, then matte over most of it once I've done to the decals and things or the well the bit the bow tie uh, the shoes I'll also be doing as gloss or leaving as gloss should we say uh, so the arms and that I won't do anything where I'll just mat and then uh, I say I need to gloss all of this or at least this area of this and then I'll be mat, mat the rest of it once I've masked off the gloss bit uh, that's pretty much that um, I need to get it varnished before I assemble it but I've done most of the hard work now so it's just uh, so waiting for the, the black to fully dry and then getting the, the varnish done so um, next time you see it I probably won't have assembled it yet but I'll uh, I say get the gloss done soon the bits that I need uh, then let that dry before I mask and then I can mat everything else so see you in a moment okay I've just put the head on to give me an idea as to exactly where I'm going to end up having to put the bow tie which is just going to be pretty much next to the top uh, I masked off the eyes so I can do the mat over those um, now the masking I've put on here you're not going to see any of this around the back but it will it's one of those oh no it's there moments um, right I've masked off where I want it to stay shiny for the suit across the bottom of the pocket and obviously the, the lapels so I think that will give the effect I want because I can see a difference between the, the gloss and the non-gloss so I'm assuming that that's more of a matte so uh, right I'll uh, get the sticker on and then get the matte coat over there and we'll see how it goes right apologies um, I got into it putting them together and forgot to film everything so I'll put them together here he is uh, everything came out much as I hoped actually the masking on the lapels does make it look like lapels shiny effect uh, exactly as I was hoping um, the arms are still articulated the ears still move the head the neck uh, the shoes are shiny nice contrast to the mat of the feet and they still have again full articulation in all of it so all in all I'm very happy with that build um, I'm still torn as to any weathering I don't think I'm going to do any weathering on it I think I'm going to leave it as it is the trouble with this matte black is it 
picks up dust like nobody's business as soon as you touch it it gets covered in uh, in dust but uh, yeah I'm happy with that that's exactly how it looked in my mind and now all completed so I'll uh, get it set up on the turntable and uh, give you the full um, display but uh, yeah thanks for watching see the finished piece in a moment and that's him complete uh, still fully posable all working exactly as, as intended uh, no real problems with the build a couple of bits of paint I can still see could do with touching up but nothing terrible uh, where the head moves you can see the back of the neck has got a little scuff mark on it but uh, yeah I'm happy with it the, the change in the the matte, matte and gloss has worked exactly as I hoped it would and the, the tuxedo shiny lapels and I'm happy I hope you've enjoyed watching me build it and waffle on occasionally um, as ever subscribe to the channel for more I don't know what I'll be building next but I'm sure you'll enjoy it whatever it is uh, stay tuned see what's one see what's new catch up on the other videos that I've got on the channel uh, as ever, thanks for watching, have fun.